Welcome back to the Madvent Calendar 4. I just noticed, and I guess it was like that last time, after we go through each train, after we go through each of the, the, the end car of that, you know, day 6, day 12, the background's different as we're heading further and further up north to the North Pole to get Gifty Fix. So, I noticed that, that it was a bit different last time, so... Well, this this time. I don't know if it was different last time. I'm sure I'm sure it was, but anyway, we just finished an amazing game, which was what day was that? It was this one. Yeah, day number fifteen, the Branko Burial. Really cool game, really interesting game, but we're not playing that one anymore. No. So we're moving on to day sixteen. Scary stories. Ooh, so spooky. By Midnight Mirage Softworks. Blood. WSC to move. Okay. You're inviting your friend. You're invited your friend over for Christmas, though. You're completely snowed in. Well, this is actually fitting because it is snowing. It's very, very cold out right now. So let's get on in here. Yeah, it is extremely cold. Extremely, and snowing. I thought you'd never get here. It's snowing really hard out there. I wasn't sure I'd make it, so you're welcome. You're right, sorry. Thanks for coming to stay with me. Anything for my best friend. Now that I'm here, what do you want to do? There's no one else in the whole dorm, so we could do anything. We could go up to the snack machines and get some chips. I'm not really hungry. Could watch a movie? No. I was thinking about when we were younger and had sleepovers. You always told the best scary stories. I learned them all from my older brother. That's the perk from having an older brother. Well, you thought there were a lot of perks from that. Look, I know he's off limits. He's your brother. Did he ever tell you about the click clack? What's that? Not what? Who? All the best scary stories are about the click clack. Mm, sorry, he didn't. Do you have any more that Jason told you that I haven't heard? Ah. It's cool. This has happened before. I know where the breaker is. Okay, so we are now snowed in in our college dorm here with our friend Andrea. And she mentioned something about, this, you know, scary stories involving the click clack. I don't know what the click clack is, but ma'am, I am just looking at this outfit. I don't... First of all, this looks... The bottom half of you looks like it's a bit... That ain't appropriate attire for this cold weather, I'm sorry to say. It, it's the skirt. The skirt is interesting. And then you got the weird, interesting boots. You got the Christmas sweater. The power went out, but... Um, okay. This is still on. Interesting. So, we know where, where the breaker is, Andrea. Let's go find it. Ma'am, you're kind of, uh... There. You want to hear one of the stories? Sure. This happened to a friend of a friend. We'll call him Mark. He went camping with his family. This was the first year they trusted him to be in his own tent, and his younger brother Anthony tagged along. His brother was scared of being alone in the tent, but was excited to have Mark taking care of him. The sun set so late that night that when they both crawled into their sleeping bags, they instantly fell asleep. A few hours later, Mark woke up, really needing to go to the bathroom. He turned on the small camping light they had, but left it in case Anthony woke up alone in the dark. Mark quietly left the tent, zipping the flap up behind him. He walked far enough away that all he could see from the tent was a small glow. As he was peeing, he heard someone walking up behind him, small footsteps. He finished up and turned around, his heart beating as quick as bee wings. It was Anthony who stared at him with a sullen face. What's wrong, bro? Mark asked. There's someone in the tent, Anthony whispered back, grabbing Mark's hand. As Mark walked back, he could still see the faint glow of the camping light. It made shadows on the wall of the tent, and they moved as if someone were in there. The flap was open a small bit. Anthony gripped Mark's hand tight, and they walked slowly closer. Mark didn't want to wake his parents. This was his first time having this kind of responsibility, and he didn't want to lose their trust. Mark stopped a few feet from the tent and let go of Anthony's hand. Stay here, he said. Anthony nodded back. Mark grabbed the zipper of the flap and started to unzip it the rest of the way. 
A small figure faced away from him, clutching Anthony's pillow. The figure turned to look at him, and it trembled with fear. He felt panic set in as he recognized the creature. In a small, shaky voice, it spoke. Who are you talking to, big bro? That was fine, I guess. It's not as scary as the click clack. What's so scary about the click clack? What it can do to you without you even knowing it's there. The noises it makes. They paralyze you. So, cover your ears. That only works when the noises aren't coming from inside you. Okay. Well, we're getting a bit of an idea what this game's about. We're, we're trying to find the breaker here, and we're talking to Andrea, telling her some scary stories, but she's not impressed by it. Instead, she wants... She's... It's not as scary as her click-clack story. Well, ma'am, why don't you tell me the story about the click-clack? And look how bright you are. Not only that, it's just like, look at this. You're hollow inside, ma'am. You're ugly. You're disgusting inside. And what's up with this? There's snow all in this hallway, and there's something at the end of that. Hey, this is this is definitely a bit spooky, for sure. Okay, I guess this is the door that opened up with my key. Fire axe. You're going to wish you never came to... Pet scope. Or pet scop. Scoop. I wasn't done with that. Restart it. Come on. Now, I, uh... Ma'am, don't you find something odd that in my room the PlayStation 1 was on? And the power is out? And then... This is on? And the power's out? No? No comment? Okay. Okay, ma'am, before I go down, down there, I want to see the rest of this hall. Empty. Nothing. Okay. Let's head on through, uh, the door, then. Here's the one we opened up. These hallways are so hard to get into, to be honest. Oh, now see? Look at this, another PlayStation 1. Drive empty. Look how it warbles, too. Again, how is there power to this? If there's no power. Oh, this place is all snowed in. Ah. That's the green thing. Okay, so this is the other side. Of that hallway. Where's this? Exit. Fire exit. Let's go. Let's go find this breaker. Dead end. I wonder if we can lose her. If we like, like speed run this, I wonder if we can lose her. Okay. Can't pass through that. That's locked. To no notice, to anyone who tries to repair the pipes, someone thought it'd be really funny if they scratched off the correct values on the emergency instructions. I asked the plumber, and he said it was the two Christmas numbers. I don't know, he's always been a bit odd. Okay, so we, we will get to that in just, just a moment. Ma'am, I want to finish exploring this hallway first. I did not like that. 
Okay, two Christmas numbers. Well, we got the 12 days of Christmas, and we got December 25th. No, not 11. Hang on. Just, there we go. What did that unlock exactly? Oh, this. Okay. Okay, we need bolt cutters for that. That's all snowed in. No more stories. Okay, let's get the bolt cutters. Okay, we already did, uh, did that puzzle. I'm surprised she's not telling any more stories. Hopefully I didn't break anything. We heard one creepy story. We gotta hear another one. That door, that door is a bit suspicious. We heard a strange noise behind there. Ma'am, are you a sm she kind of looks she kind of looks like a smelly orphan. Yeah, she does. She is a smelly orphan. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. She was a good child and had a loving mother and father that worked long hours sometimes. She came home from school and neither of her parents were home. They both had to put in an extra shift. She'd have to make her own dinner and clean up the kitchen, but they promised it was going to be worth it as this meant she could get a new bike for her birthday. Sandra made herself something simple so as to not have too much to clean up and watch TV until bedtime. It was quiet in the big house. As she walked upstairs, she turned off the house lights until all that was left was the one in her room. She decided to do a little sneaky late night reading. If her parents were home, they would have made her turn off the light and go to bed. She kept her bedroom door open so she could hear when they were coming home. She read for a while and was starting to doze off when she heard the front door open. She quickly turned off her light and rolled away from the door to pretend to sleep. A minute later, someone walked up to her doorway. A chill hung in the air as they entered the room. Hey kid, you up? Her mom whispered. She touched Sandra's arm, running her cold hand down the length of her cheek and shoulder. Sandra continued to play asleep and her mom left the room. Sandra rolled back over toward the doorway. She could see out into the hallway. The bathroom door was closed with the light leaking out from beneath the door. A few minutes later, the front door opened again. Quick footfalls ran up the stairs to her room. She tried to roll over quickly, but her dad caught her. He was sweaty, tears running down his face. He didn't even bother to turn on her bedroom light, and so he was shadowed, and his face looked horrifying. What's wrong? she asked. Her dad sobbed, almost unable to speak. Your mother. Something happened on her way home. A bus didn't see her and hit her. She died instantly. Sandra looked deep into her father's face and then passed him to the bathroom, where she could see the closed bathroom door, the shadows dancing around in the room. You scared yet, Andrea? 
No, I don't think she's scared yet. Four seven nine. Okay, we're getting the password. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Four seven nine five. Okay. Four, seven, nine. Oh, wait, hang on. This is incorrect. There we go. Four, seven, nine, five, uh, five. There you go. Okay, let's keep going. That's like interesting. There's no one in the school building. That one was a little better than the first one. Still not scary, though. Well, if you don't think my stories are good enough, you tell me one. You sure? They're really scary. Yeah, tell me all about this Click Clack guy, then. The Click Clack isn't a guy. It's what you're not expecting. Well, if it's what you're not expecting, wouldn't you expect it, then? Maybe, but you don't. The Click Clack makes you not pay attention to it. It's familiar, like a smell you remember from childhood. Is it like any other creature? No, it's really mundane. Like walking through a doorway and forgetting what you're trying to do. That doesn't sound scary. It's not at first, so it makes it worse. What it can do though, I'm too scared to even describe it. But if you're not scared of it, why don't you tell me another story? I think I'm out of them. Okay, tell me about your day then. Sure, there was an alert on campus about a huge storm coming. All the other people in the dorm decided to either drive home since Christmas is coming, and they'd rather leave early in order to miss the storm. I didn't, though. I don't really have anywhere else to go since I don't have a car, so I'm waiting for my mom to come pick me up tomorrow. I tried calling any other people I know, and no one could come keep me company. See? You know all of that, but you're not thinking. You're letting your brain fill in the gaps. Wait, what? Something wasn't right about her. I could tell, I could tell that something was a bit off. Something seemed a bit strange. Talking about the click clack and all that. The fact that this hallway was repeating. Okay, so I really like that one. That one is really interesting, creepy, weird. I like the fact that we're that there's different stories that are involved to you know tell tell the story here, and then at the very end of it, it's actually your friend that is the click clack. So I guess we invited our friend over. And it wasn't actually the friend, it was actually the click clack monster. And... Yeah, things were not quite right with her, now were they? Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh... That was, that was, that was a really spooky one. It, it, it was very, very interesting. Very, very interesting for sure. Okay. So now... Also, I, I liked, real quick also, I liked the uh, old PlayStation stuff that was in there and the fact that, that they were still on despite the power being out. That was, that was strange and interesting. Anyway, 
Up next, we have, we have Outpost number zero by Void Bugs and Leon Artman, Blood. You've woken up from cryogenic sleep. But something is wrong in Outpost Zero. You need to send a distress signal to warn the others. Okay. Now, I, I know this one does, does not have control of support, so... Let me... Get that ready. There you go, because you know me. I love my controller. Especially for... It depends on the game. Like, the game I just played, it didn't matter if it had a controller or not. This particular one, I want a controller. So. Okay. Okay, Kate. I need your help. Something weird happened to the crew, and they are acting violent. You need to send a message to Central and tell them to not come near the base. This is probably a virus, and we can't let this spread. You would need my keycard to access the radio room. The office password is 0451, and the safe code is... <clears throat> okay. 0451. Okay, I will make note of that. That's the office. 04. Five one. Okay. I like the art style of this. Everything's all red. A bit spooky as well. See, we, 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 we have a gun, but can't seem to shoot it. Okay, we have crouch. So we have a zoom in feature as well. We have a um go go fast. Okay. Okay, so we're in some sort of space station. I I, I can't open it with my hands. And you would need some sort of tool to open this. Okay. Okay, so that, that door's locked. Okay, here's something. Guess we got a hammer. A hammer! Do you know what a hammer is? That's what I want. A damn hammer! <laughs> I got it. Oh gosh, it is so dark in here. I don't have the car- I don't have the right card for this door. Okay, so... Yeah, something bad's gonna happen here. We just- we can just feel it. Not only that, it's- it's so dark, too. I mean, it's kind of like blue. Obviously something really bad already happened at this space station. Okay. And here's the one and only reference to Christmas in this game. And what do we have here? It's the health kit, it looks like. Okay, hang on, there's something here. Interact. I don't have the right card for this door. Ooh, soda. Space soda. I would like some space soda, please. The silence and the depth of feel, how we can barely see in front of us, is really, really has, has me on, on edge here. Like a healing room. We, we need to find a card. We need to find a be a way to open open whatever that door was with that with that password. But it's like we need cards for most of these doors at least. I'm sure once we get a card we'll be able to go through through here. Okay. 
Okay, so that's all the doors there. Must have missed something. Keep an eye out. Maybe something in this main room over here. Wait, hang on. Here's something. Here's something. I missed this. Okay, so it said zero... It said zero... Hang on, let me just check. Zero four one five, I believe. Yes, zero four one five. Oops. That wasn't correct? Oh, wait, that was for... That was for the office room. Okay, so maybe there's another door then. This must not be the office. Let me just try that one more time. Okay, so that must not be the office then. There must be another door that is the office. Just ch check in here real quick. Okay. Head over back through here. Look up some some more doors. Problem is that we can't access any of them. That's where I came from. Oh, that's from my flashlight. Oh my gosh. Okay, so dark. Is there anything else here? Picked up a med a med kit. Everything else is is locked up. I mean, this is the only door that has something we can put in. 0451. Isn't that what I... Oh. I put in the wrong password. Okay. <laughs> I had it written down as 0451, but I was looking at the password for the previous game <laughs> when, we were, when we were doing those, those puzzles. Okay. That that was a <laughs> moment, a dumb a dumb moment. Okay, so we don't we don't have the password to this yet. That was what I call a dumb moment. We have dumb moments. We have dumb moments. It's funny to actually look back at some of those dumb moments. Fortunately, I was not stuck forever. I saw Nick, the radio guy, locking the girl look locking the girl he was dating, Clarisse, in his room. He came out with something in hand. I think it was his key card and went to the bathroom. You need to see if Clarissa is okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see about these. Maria's letter. Carlos, your daughter misses you. Today is her fifth birthday and she keeps asking about you. I don't know why you went to a frozen moon, but you better come back soon. Maria. 2056. Okay. That sounds like a password for the safe. Let's see. Okay, that's not correct. Let's see. 2056. It's her fifth birthday, so maybe 2051. Right, oh, we got a gun, and we got a purple key card. Okay, this is this is where things are going to get real here. Let's see. I actually was just playing Chupacabra Night Hunt. Good game. Fun to see all the cryptids being the bad guys in video games. That is really cool. Chupacabra. I, that sounds familiar. I'm somewhat familiar with that. Okay, we don't have the key card for that. We got a purple one, right? Okay. We can't unlock those doors. Let's try down this way. Maybe we can unlock some of these. There we go.
The fact that I have a gun makes me worry. And I'm picking up health kits makes me very much worry. A lot of health kits. Yeah, you know? This has me worried. Then again, this is the health room. Anything else we can interact with? You never know, they could be like these little tiny things you can interact with. Oh! Sir! Okay. I was not expecting that, sir. Oh, I like that reloading stuff. Okay. Sir? Okay. Thank goodness. Frequency disk added to inventory. There's gonna be another enemy in here and there. Three headshots. Good. Okay. Honestly, they're not too threatening. They don't appear to be, at least. But that doesn't mean that we couldn't get overwhelmed with them. Another note here. Generator is broken. Hello, everyone. The generator is acting funny recently. You need to get to the panel. You need to... You need to go to the panel and put the arrow in the blue zone. Okay, so I guess we gotta go out there. I need to insert all the discs. Okay, so it looks like we have maybe one disc and we need another one, possibly. Let's say maybe you need those health kits. You'll be fighting the invisible monsters that live only in your mind. Or whatever the heck that, that, that was. You need the root disc, yeah. Invisible monsters that live only within our mind. So we need two more discs. Okay. And what door is this exactly? Okay, this was out here. Okay, this was in the main hall. Okay, let's actually check out this room first. I don't want to waste too much ammo. I, I, I missed a shot, I noticed. Okay, we got another key card. Yellow card, okay. I just like how they just are a 2D pile of mush on the ground. Because this fight takes us back to where we started. But there were some lock locked doors in here. Oh, I, c I can't see in there at all. Sir? Sir? Coming in, sir. I'm just going in. Okay. Oh, please. Here what we have here? Oh, this is like a generator puzzle. Okay. It's like the Resident Evil generator puzzle. Whoops, what happened? I guess I did it? Okay, I guess I did it. It just, it just didn't confirm anything. It just immediately exited me out. I thought I failed or something. Having a lot of lag in this room. What, what the heck? Look, it's all choppy. What's up with this room? Chop. Chopping? Okay, was that the power? I don't know what that was, but... Okay, that looks like it lit up some something here. I don't like this. Where are you?
Were you taking a dump? I'm so sorry. So sorry that I interrupted your dump. I really need need more ammo. Pink card. Here we go. Here's more ammo. Nice. Okay, just what I needed. If it wasn't so colorful, this would remind me of a game, Game Boy game. Hmm. I don't know. It's, yeah, it, it's, I guess, kind of how it's stylized. A little bit. <laughs> Sir, I missed a shot. I'm so sorry. Sir, I got other, other doors to check out first. Like, did I go in here at all? I did. This is where I got one of the cards. Okay, then let me finish checking down this way. Because I don't think I explored all the rooms here yet. Or did I? Actually, may, may have. I haven't gotten any, any of the other big, big cards yet. Yeah, okay. Let me just check down this other way first, because I did pick up a few key cards. Like, for this room, maybe. have no idea what this could possibly be. Wesker, are you behind this? Okay, root, root disc. Oh, there's a note here. I missed it. Tested the note. 6-10-2026. We found a humanoid body in our last dig. This is incredible, but it can be very dangerous. We don't know what kind of life this is and how it could affect us. And then two months later, someone stole one of the samples. This could be our end. It's called Albert Wesker, and he is a major nuisance and problem to, to the world. He very, very much is. I don't have the right card for that door. Okay, so I got another key card. So I just got to get one more, it looks like. Okay. Let's head back to this other area here that I have not fully explored yet. Down down this hallway. Okay, so that was the dark room. Now we're entering this weird blue room. Oh, no, this this was, was the bathroom, right? Okay. And this was that ge generator area. Okay. Must be down here. I killed an enemy when I opened it up. And that was it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, this leads back to where I started. Yeah, this is the room that I started in. Right here. Okay, so, so there were quite a few doors here. Can't actually open them, though. Yeah, I can't actually do anything with that. It's interesting. This one I can. Wasted way too much ammo on on you, bud. Okay, message disc. I got another one. That's that is all of them now, right? Yeah, that's all of them. That's all of them. Tons of ammo. Why is it loading me up now? After I literally fart my way through all of this. Okay. Okay, let's, let's head back now to, to the main room. Get the cards in.
Sending message. Error. 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 Please manually reset the antenna outside of the base. Unlocking airlock room. Oh, great. We have to go outside. So airlock room, I guess it was that one door that was locked over this way. I don't have the right card for this door. This is the door that that became un unlocked here. Oh, so I need to interact with this. I guess that's my suit. Oh shoot, my my controller disconnected. I think my power on it r ran out. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, we mustn't, we mustn't allow the controller to uh, go out. Not at all, boy. Okay. Okay, so we have a suit on now. We still have our gun. Guess we're heading outside. To fix this antenna. Okay. I like that one. That was short and simple and scary. That one was really cool, I must say. So, I was kind of getting the idea from it that a lot of the people in this space station have transformed into those hideous beasts. Like, we will... We, we, we were attacking them, and they were basically our... Our calm comrades, essentially, I guess, that were on, on the space station. And if we saw at the very end, she basically transformed into one of them. She 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 died, and I guess she transformed into the, one of those weird, undead cre uh, creature things. So I like that. It was short and simple and to the point, and it was spooky too. So so far there have been two two solid games. We had scary stories, and we had Outpost Zero. Let's see if we can live up to that. Well, this is day number eighteen. This one is. You know, the, uh, the, uh, we're a little closer, shall we say. We're a little closer to, to the end here. Let's see, Chilled Coast Station by Vladimir Lore. So, yeah, this is another station that is the ha halfway point. Take a moment to reconsider. Okay, so as we're getting further and further, let's head on in. This will be the three quarters mark. Always like the music in these two. They're always like quite relaxing. I'm making a list of things to look forward to. What are some of your favorite games? I don't know, ma'am. What are you? you what are you uh, playing right now? I'm not sure of what you're playing, ma'am. Ma'am, get your words out of my way, please. They're kind of blocking my my sight. So, the mem remember the uh, the uh, first station. The first station was 
It was in a city, a very, very busy city. There were cars all over the place. The second one had a few of those like weird, weird guys, but it wasn't snowing and it was like in a de desolated forest. This one now, it's just our, our friends. Those other weird, weird people have gone. Yep, let's go ahead and stretch. Ah, uh, stretch in the snow. Go down. Mm. Mm. You know, there is a game all, all about stretching in this collection. But we probably will get to that next time. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. Very chilly for a beach episode. Maybe we can come back in the summer. Sir? Anyway. Can we go down here? Yes, we can. We have another- I guess this is- this is bitey down here. Was scary stories actually scary? A little bit, yeah. So far, bo both the games that I ha have ha have been scary. This one's not me me uh, meant to be scary. This one's just a cool little like rest stop before we continue on. This year has been so hard. I hope the next one is better. Hmm. I have to say, you know what, Bitey? Bitey, I have to say, you know, you're absolutely right. 20 2023 was actually, well, 2023 for me was actually a good, good year. And I think 2024 is going to be even better. At least for me personally. I don't know about, about this crazy world that we're in. You know, this this world be a crazy. Crazy things happen in it. Actually go a little bit out, out here. In the snow. There's it. it there, there's the hidden thing I was looking for. Did this really happen? Or is this just a story we tell ourselves? See, it's so cold and frozen. We, um... We can walk on the ocean. Nice, beautiful snow coming down. Let's see if there's anything else over here, Bitey. Nope, guess that's it. End of the line. Okay. So we found Bitey. We found... The only person we haven't found yet is Scully. Scully? I know you're trying to hide because you don't want to be asked the question of where is Mulder. But I will find you, Scully. I will find you. And I will ask that question of you. And I will get an answer from, uh, from, from you. One day, this will be a memory. One day, this will be forgotten. That is kind of true. Like, right now, we're in the moment of playing this game. There... Even not long after we play this game, we probably will not remember it. It'll be a thing of the past. It'll be gone. It'll be out of our memory. It'll be out of most people's memory. We won't be thinking about this moment right now that we're in at this very moment. We may not even be thinking about that five minutes from now. So. Oh, wait, can I go up higher? Oh, Scully, I'm coming for you. You better be up here somewhere. Oh, no, I can't, can't go up. Where's Scully? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I bet Scully's up here. He's gotta be. Oh, Scully. This game won't ever be forgotten as long as, as, long as it's online and people can play it. That is true. That is true. But if you think about this this moment right now, we won't be thinking about this this moment. People not necessarily will be playing this game all year round, you know? Scully, before I read your crap, where is Motor? Do you remember how you got here? Yes, I came up here to ask you about Motor. You don't want to answer. Okay, I got it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Splat. Okay. Guess that's all for this this particular one. You know, again. Splat. <laughs> so, yeah, cool little fun thing. Okay. Okay, so we are officially now three quarters of the way done this collection here. Car four. Now we're going to be moving on to car five. Okay, so, next one, it's a gift. 
guys. It's the gift by S N A D L I. Flickering lights. You've received an amazing present, but it seems that Santa has something more in store for you. Okay, that sounds a bit spooky, Santa. That sounds a bit spooky, Santa. It's a gift! Play. Okay. Year. 1991. December 24th. Okay, let me grab this. Here. Timmy always loved Christmas. Not because he got the best present every year, but because he spent them with his family. What? Well, but this year, it was about to be different. Timmy will get the present like never before. A Christmas Eve in the morning. Entire family gatherings to open the presents. Happy Christmas, says both parents, when Timmy, with his excitement, was opening his. No way, he shout as he turns. As he turns out, it was one of the newest models of the Lake Guns, but wireless. Working on the battery. Thank you, he shouted as he inspected carefully his new toy with his details. As everybody was enjoying this Christmas morning, a sudden ring to the door gave surprise to everyone. Do we have a visitor? said surprised mother as the father went to check who that might be. Before him, there was a big box standing on the porch. Who is it? asked mother. Father was confused on... Father, with confusion on his face, brought big and heavy box to the living room. Rather, what? He replied. A present, asked Timmy. But from who? And what is inside? The more question only grow impatient within family as they opened the box. Great heavens, shouted Mother, with shock, looking at the content of the box. Well, I will be shouted surprised as well as father as he never saw anything like that before. What is it? asked Timmy, curiously crying to see what was inside of the box. As it turns out, it was a life-size doll in height and a little taller than Timmy, with goth-made clothing on it, in the look resembling a little girl. Okay, now this is... This is getting creepy now, so... A life-size doll of the sun in goth made clothes? That, that's a girl? I'm sorry, what? She got a big eye staring into emptiness. Blue hairs and a black choker around her neck. It looks expensive, yet nothing like you can buy in the first better toy shop. But for who is it for? Asked Timmy, staring at the doll with hypnotized look. I don't think it's for any of us, said Mother, even more confused looking at the doll as well as trying to check for any content behind it. Well, I don't see any label on it, nor on the doll, said Father. But for whatever it is, but for whoever it is, I'm sure they will come for it. With no idea what to do with the expense unexpected gift, the family decides to lock it in the storage room upstairs and enjoy the rest of the day. And then nightfall has come. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. <laughs> right off the bat, that is weird. <laughs> what a day. Got a little thirsty. I should check the bathroom for the water. <laughs> we can drink out of the toilet, man? Dude. He's going to drink out, out of the toilet. Son, you realize that that is a problem? So there's no flashlight. It is pitch black in, in my room here. I'm not liking this. I don't like this at all. Okay, maybe I can turn turn the light. Let's see. No? Okay. I think this is the door. 
There we go. Oh, it's cr Christmassy. That is for darn sure. The water might taste a little crappy coming from the bathroom, indeed. It's quiet. No need to go there. Mom and Dad? This is Mom and Dad's room, I think. They're not even here. I like the atmosphere out outside. Okay, guess head into the bathroom, I guess, then. Nice. I can go back. Uh No. <laughs> no, I saw that door open. Hello? <gasps> Yo! I better go to the room. Is that the god? Oh my gosh, no. That's the doll. Oh, no. I'm going. I'm going to my room. I don't like that. I heard that running. It's gone. It just ran. It just ran, ran away. I think it ran down downstairs. Hello, creepy goth doll. Where are you? Strange. Why is the house empty? Yeah, that's what I would like to know. The creepy music playing too? The TV on or just the light? Shoot down the tree. What's this thing? Oh wait, can I get on top of this? Oh yes. Come get me, goth doll thing. You can't get me on top of here. Where'd this thing go? It's nowhere. Oh. Okay, I think okay. Let's not walk through there again. I, I, I may clip to the floor. <laughs> My laser gun it only has one more blast. Where's the doll? Where's everyone else? Anyone in the fridge? Let's use the laser blast. Uh. Now she's gonna come out, isn't she? 
Once I use up my la laser blast, she's going to come out now. Phone ringing? Where's it coming from? Maybe upstairs? Oh no. No. <laughs> Happy Christmas. No. That was creepy. That was good and creepy. I liked that. Oh my gosh, that was that was something else. I like that one. So let me tell you about the initial iterations of this game. So when this collection first came out, when people first played it, it was a very, very, very incomplete version of this game. It was so incomplete, it basically lasted 30 seconds and that was it. Basically what you did is you woke up, you went to the bathroom to grab a, a drink of water. Uh, well, first of all, there was no story at all. Okay, there was absolutely no story, so, so you couldn't, you didn't get the context of what was happening. You woke up in the middle of the night, you went to the bathroom, you grabbed a drink of water, and then when you left, the door creaked open and some untextured 3D model started chasing you, and the moment that they attacked you, the moment that they grabbed you, it was game over, and there was nothing you could do at all. You could pick up the laser gun, I believe, you couldn't fire it, you couldn't do anything, and that was basically it. This, they improved dramatically upon it, based off that initial version, and this was actually very good. It was creepy. Saw the doll in there. That was spooky. That was scary. I liked that a lot. I really did. That was... That was good. That was good. Okay. Well, as much as I would love to do the next one, I think what we're gonna do... is do the next one, actually. Hypotesi by Polytrauma Studios. Blood, gore, child abuse, and arachophobia. Arachnophobia. Okay. You got gifts for children all around town, and this year the delivery is on you. It's Christmas time. It's the in-game tutorial. That's right. We are Santa this this year, and it's going to be great. For our final game of the night. Remember to laugh. Press for display purposes only. E. The prompt will appear whenever you're allowed to perform tasks. Thank you for your cooperation. E to sit. Let's do this. Yes. Look at my naked body. Mmm. Get up. Work hard. Let's exercise, shall we? Here we go. Now we're now we're going to stretch. I said we 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 may have stretched, but now it's actually we're actually going to put it to use. We're actually going to stretch now. This, ah yes, ah stretch back. Oh yes. Oh, that's such a great stretch. Now bend to your knees. Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Here we go. Mmm. Ouch! My neck is so stiff. I hit a veil. Mm, you know, just... There's nothing like a good old, like, you know... Auto fellatio first thing in the morning, you know? Mmm. Yes. I'm gonna do that one more time. Hold on. Oh! Darn it, I can't reach now. After that initial stretch. There we go! Uh, oh, yes. Anyway. Mmm. Okay, keep yourself together. The... Cold dairy literally hit of air is in epidemic disease that, just like spaghetti trees, is only present and can only be catched in Italy. Oh yes, it's me. The most frequent cause of infection comes by moving between areas with high terminal excursion. Similar to a cold, can also 
or alternatively, cause muscular pain and stiffness. That said, you can still move using your keyboard. Thank you. Pick up the children's list downstairs. Need to open. Oh, bathroom. No mirrors, because we're ugly as 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 all heck. Oh. Hang on. Ah. Man, sir, what do you have on your wall? What is this? Uh, oh, there we go. Hmm. What's up with this sticky floor? Uh, oh, I know why it's sticky. Because we have literally auto fellatioed so much that it is literally the, the floor and the walls and the ceiling is probably covered. Covered. And stuff. Let's say settings. Frame frame cap. V sync. Yeah, one. One a cap a capped at one. Like we we can do we can do classic like PlayStation of like twenty or something, you know? No, let's just do good old sixty. Good old sixty mouse sensitivity. Back to game, please. Yeah, nothing, nothing like good old sticky floor. Well, let's get, pick up the present for the kids. Pick up children's list, thank you. Exit and wear your Santa suit. This is a bit creepy. I see a run meter up there. It's interesting. Okay. Santa suit. Oh, there it is. Here's my gifts for the kids, I suppose. Mm. Oh. Dress to impress. Press tab to display the hood. Just a HUD of my stamina, I guess, and my running abilities. There you go. We have five trains and five other stuff. Be efficient. You can adjust movement speed by using the mouse wheel. Ah, press shift allows you to sprint. Okay, this is kind of weird. Oh, yes. Everything is so sticky. The whole village is coated with our... with our Santa fluid. We have five children left to save. I guess I can't enter any of these, I'd imagine. No. Oh, the stickiness. I love the stickiness. Head on up. Is this like a mud village? It's like a mud mud village or something. I don't know. Okay, that's the end of the town. We got cameras, it looks like. Looks like we're heading up. Oh, this looks like a kid. We gotta deliver some presents still. A house. Okay, let me in. Let me in. Oh, sir? Sir? Don't mind me, kid. Um, I'm just going to peek my head in through here, okay? You look, uh... You look weird. You look weird. Anyway. 
Let me here. Try on. Hello. Oh ho ho! Merry Christmas. This is Santa with lots of presents for good children like you. Santa, did you receive my letter? Of course I did. That's why I'm here, my dear. Okay. I will gift you one of each of those, sir. There you go. Santa? Yes, my dear? Can you wait here for a moment, please? Sure, dear. I'll be waiting. <laughs> sir? Thank you, Santa. You can have it back now. I don't need these anymore. Sir? Sir? I thought he shot himself in there. No, he gave us a gun? It was self-defense. If it comes to it, you can aim with right mouse button, shoot with left. Your aim is affected by your level of stamina and endurance. So this is how Santa holds the gun. I guess we have we have limited stamina, it looks like, or I guess to, to some some degree. I don't know. Music's creepy, too. Yeah, let, let it re, re, refill. I imagine the enemies are going to be spiders. They said something about spiders. Let me in. I saw it. There it is. We can see outside. This is a church. A gig- Oh! 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 I did not like that. How that thing came at me like that, I was like, what the heck is that? And then I realized, oh snap, that is the, that's the spider? Oh my gosh, look at them running. Uh-uh. Uh, -uh. uh I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting out of, out of here. They're crawling all over the place. Yeah, there's nothing in, in here for me. I'm getting out. Screw this church. Uh-uh. Let me out. Let me out. This is where I came in. Am I trapped in here? Come on, spiders. Come and get me. I will take care of you. There you are. Freak of nature. I 
I wasted too many bullets on 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 you, bud. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my stamina to go back up. Can I just leave this church now, please? Okay, my stamina is like forever low. Is there really no way to leave this church? What? Kind of messed up. Freaking spider. Anything I can do up here? I should not have come in here. This is like a dead end and now I cannot escape. Just kill this last spider. I see ya. Moving way too fast, bud. There you are. I'm out of ammo. Okay, you know, I'm about to say... You know what? I think we're going to say, screw this. I have no more ammo. I can't do anything there. I cannot leave. I may have screwed myself. So basically, I think what we're going to do is this is where we're going to leave it off. Normally, I don't leave it off right in the middle of a game. But this will be the cliffhanger for next time. Because I'm going to have to restart this and not go into this church. Save save these kids first. Because I think maybe they all give me some ammo to handle these spiders that are in this. Because I can't leave. I have to start over the, any anyway. So we would do that next time. So we got a little preview of this game that seems to be a bit of a a problem. You know? I tell you. Sometimes. Sometimes these, these games aren't necessarily the absolute best. They really aren't. This one seems a bit... Well, you shouldn't be allowed into the church. You should not be allowed into the church. So next time, we will have to fix this up. And which means we get to do a nice good old stretch. Oh, yes, we get to do a nice good old stretch again as Santa. I'll see you next time on this.